Hey everybody, Reinstein here, playing Kerbal Space Program Career Mode. How's it going guys? Are you well? Uh, today, I think what I'm going to do is ignore most, if not all, of these contracts that we've got. And what I want to try and do is fly towards Minmus. Now, I did build a giant beast of a rocket, which is this, the Moon Visitor 2. And you can see it's got 7,007 Delta V. Now, I'm hoping that will be enough to um, get us that far at least but I don't know for sure if it is uh, but it could be a lot of fun if it is so you know bear with me um, wow well, we're placing this completely wrong <laughs> all right let's just finish up our rocket the reason I want to put these on uh, these struts is to aid the stability of my rocket now we've got lots of stuff that we need I think remember we haven't got any solar panels yet and uh, that takes us down to 6997 but I'm hoping that'll be enough to get us to Minmus, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm proper excited, because imagine the science we can get if we can get anywhere near Minmus. It's going to be phenomenal. Now, off we go. Hopefully these struts are going to add to the stability of our rocket. Remember in the last episode, we unlocked the, um, the, the part of the facility where it allowed more than 30 parts on our rockets. Wow, why is that making us tip over? Oh my god, no! That should not be happening. Jebediah, I'm sorry. You're gonna perish. <laughs> Look at him go. Jebediah, it's basically firing you down towards the planet now. I apologize, sir. I apologize. Should we just play this out and see what happens? <laughs> These solid fuel boosters don't run out of fuel. Stop. Poor Jebediah's like, what the hell are you doing to me? Let's fast forward this bad boy. Oh god. Oh wow. This basically just tilts back downwards. That's... Well, let's at least see the explosion. <laughs> Here we go. Boom! Wow, Jebediah's still alive. Damn, Jebediah survived. Let's do a crew report. Can you tell us what happened there, Jeb? This is our space center. Here, we're home. <laughs> Lol, how did you survive, dude? Now, what the hell is wrong with our rocket? Why did it tilt so violently off to one direction. Uh, the rocket looks fine. Not sure what. Are these slightly off-center, these uh, solid fuel boosters? I think they are. That's probably the problem, dumbass. Alright, let's correct that. Put them... That looks more central, doesn't it? I think. They look, they look connected properly now. It was a good explosion, though. All right, good. We should be fine now. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Minmush, here we come. We want to land. No, we don't. We want to fly near you and collect scientific data. Is that all right? Whoa, what's it all jiggly wiggly? Oh, holy crap. Oh, damn, Jebediah. That's, uh, I'm not going to see if you'll even survive that one, bro. <laughs> Whoopsie. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, we haven't got the stability, um, the struts on anymore. You gotta have space tape, dummy. Right, space tape, sure. Um, <coughs> um whoops. <laughs> uh, there we go. Connect that like so. Right, now will you be all right? Jesus Christ, what's the matter with your rocket? Okie dokie, fingers crossed Jebediah is not going to have the fear of plowing into the ground at like 5,000 meters per second. There we go, we look stable. Are we wibbly wobbling to either side? That's the question. Uh, Jebediah, everything okay? Systems check. Here we go, here we go, we're tilting. We are tilting. And, oh damn, you're gonna die again, boy. No, Jebediah! <laughs> what the hell is going wrong with my rocket here? Why is it tilting to one side? Stupid rocket. Let's have a look here. Everything seems to be connected up properly. We've got loads of space tape. Oh, what's going on with this one? Maybe that's creating some additional forces that we don't need. Okay, let's try it like so. Fingers crossed. I'll tell you what we might need as well is some of these stability, launch stability enhancing things. 
Let's at least put them on and give it a give it a uh, you know a chance of surviving. Uh, yeah. Try three. <laughs> wow, look how high our rocket is. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a noob. Oh well, never mind. Turn on sass. Ready, champ? Yeah, sure. Go away! I hold silver and away. We'll soon see if it's going to start wibbly wobbling. My guess is it is going to. Look at it, it's starting to tilt already. But why? Why, my liege? What have we done wrong? It looks perfectly symmetrical. I have no idea why it's tilting. There must be something we've added to it. Maybe it's maybe it's these batteries. Hmm, could be. Uh, revert flight to vehicle assembly. Let's try removing the batteries this time and putting them somewhere else on the rocket. All right, batteries, you come here. We're gonna put you. We're gonna put you. Yeah, like so. Sure. Because we won't need them on the way down, so that should be fine. Uh, the rocket itself. Let's put it lower to the ground. Space tape connecting everything. We should be. Golden. Is there anything I'm missing here? I don't. I don't really know. Let's try for the fourth time, Minmus. We will come to you, whether it's in this episode or not. Who freaking knows? This could just be the fail episode. <laughs> okay, ready? Three, two, one. Jebediah, we are go. Fire! Yeah, it's somehow tilted that way already. There's nothing on there that should make it do that. What about if I shut off these engines? No, that doesn't help at all. What is it then? Is there any weight that's on there that's like making it do that? Hmm. Analysis inconclusive. So it's tilting. It's tilting that way where this is. Maybe it's... Hmm. Maybe it's the antenna? What about if we take the antenna off? Let's try that. And our rocket is still too high. Let's lower that beast down. We want it nice and low to the ground. Okay, ready. Attempt five. Jeepers creepers. I'm having to mop my brow here. We're never gonna get... We're never gonna get going. It's all gone bloody crazy. Something tells me I'm a freaking noob. There we go. Is that going to be fine? Go. No, it's already, already it did that little, that little tilt forward again like it keeps doing. Although, although, although nothing, you have failed, Reinstein. No, please. Oh, 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 oh. oh well, let's play this through to its conclusion. Speed up the game engine. Oh, 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 look at it go. Whee! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, did use up all the fuel. Will Gemini survive again? Oh god. No, Gemini died that time. That's that's not gonna work then. We're not gonna be able to go to Minmus. I'll tell you what we will do. And just try and complete a couple of these more simple missions then. We'll go for testing the 487S Spark Liquid Fuel Engine. Such a boring mission. There it is. And all we all we really have to do to achieve that is is put this on top. That's literally all we have to do. Uh okay. Launch anyway. Oh, no, what? We have someone in it, so... Oh, maybe we just need to make sure someone's in the crew seat. Well, Jebediah is our intrepid person who's experiencing crash after crash and failed launches. So, we'll test this. Look, this is all you need to do. This is a stupid mission. Watch this. Ready. Ready. Fire. Completed. Woo! <laughs> That's all you have to do, literally. This is the most silliest mission. It's the same for the L testing the LVT-45 engine as well. So while I'm on making a video, sure, we haven't done very well. That's kind of an understatement. But uh, <laughs> we will at least complete these missions that it wants us to. So can't even detach that little thing. There we go. Uh, get rid of that again. Let's just... What? 
Okay, uh, we need to test. What's our next mission? Our next mission is the T-45 engine. Simples. Let's grab out of that bad boy. Whack it right there. And we could just delete that. Plonk this one in there. And nothing wants to be attached. That's weird. Ah, oh, we already have some weird engine there. Uh, website. Um, 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 um. Control, control Z. It's all going wrong. There we go. Get rid of that. Can we get rid of that? Apparently we cannot. It's bugged out. I broke it. <laughs> all right, we will get there, I promise. Uh, let's go back in. Maybe I need more coffee. Yes, more coffee is always good. There we go. LV, so we want the T45 swivel engine. And there we go. Test it at the launch site. Simples. Don't save it. Let's go to launch it. And, 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 what the hell? Where's my engine gone? Revolt to vehicle assembly. <laughs> oh my god, I can't cope. It's all going, it's all going absolutely pear-shaped here, guys. I might as well upload this anyway for your viewing pleasure of my failures. It takes a lot of work to be a space engineer. Ask Elon Musk. There we go, ready? A fire mission achieved, yay! <laughs> Simple as, simple as. Let's recover our vessel. And I think I will run away and hide in a corner. This has been an episode of failure after failure. It's not all as easy as I normally make it look. Well, thank you for watching, guys. In the next episode, hopefully we'll do something a little bit more exciting than testing those boring engines and not crash as much. I need to recover this debris, too. Let's recover that. Lovely. Have a wonderful day, guys. Enjoy me on the next episode. Goodbye.